All right, welcome back, Elon gang. Here once again, looking at Elon over here. So, what do we see happening right now? To my surprise, we actually did end up uh, breaking this from the looks of it. Um, you did break through our white trend line right here, and then our blue trend line right on over here. Actually, we're on log. We can check. We can double check that in a second. Um, however, you did wick down to our 3A2, just ever so slightly above it. Our 3A2 was at 30 on the dot. Uh, that is one area that we are looking for following from there where else would we be looking for is the 236 at 2820 um if we do actually zoom out and see this whole range where is our point of control uh point of control is actually at 33 34 so we definitely are below it you can see even today we did wick like kind of right up to that area that being our 618 um and then we fell short of that so uh, before I go into the smaller time frame, switching back over here. Yeah, you can see we clearly broke that. Um, I'd say for this not to be broken, you need to really get back up at the very minimum to really 32. Um, otherwise, I would definitely say that this was broken. Could it be a fake out? Yeah. Um, but I mean, generally speaking, looking at the seat, like what the price action is actually doing, we did just make a lower uh, low for this. So could it be like drawn out? Yeah. Um, but yeah. All right. Anyway, um, let's switch that back. Let's go over into your four hour. Do you notice anything here? Uh, oh yeah. And then doing that, switch that back. So if we were to also get that measure move down right here, that actually brings us back down so 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 close to the low but once again that actually would still be um to a degree it's still a higher low technically um if that if that were to play out and if that were to hold now if that doesn't hold we do have our uh other area that we would be looking at uh to be marked which also what i do want to mention here is um with this because we talked about how we thought this is essentially accumulation taking place if by chance that like this is and we're nearing the like end of it uh which for yeah example uh would be your like schematic one for example uh if we're more in like this ending phase b right here let's just say and that we are heading into your like spring or phase c with the spring what we need to see happen with that is essentially if we were to come back down and get into this general vicinity and then we break the low we would need to see it get bought back up fairly quickly um so how do i put this you can break the low but you need to get that bought back up into like that range essentially back above where our prior low was so basically a scam wick is what i'm saying um on the daily time frame i'd say maybe one to two but on a weekly like closing basis we would definitely need to get bought back up above this prior low if that were to take place now i'm just saying if just to give you guys a heads up uh i'm not really fully convinced that the low would break but just having plans for either way is always good now um really other than that there's really not too much else to talk about um we ended up breaking we, we ended up breaking this so like we're looking for a bit more downside from this point uh assuming that we don't get a closure above 32 if we don't get it that closure above 32 then i'd say it's a little bit more safe to say that we would be anticipating a bit more downside from here um yeah that's really about it so other than that none of this is financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos